explain to them that once upon a time, his mystical sons, the four Kumars, wanted to visit Lord Narayan and Vaikuta, the spiritual world. When they tried to enter the cave of Vaikuta, they were stopped by two doorkeepers named Jaya and Vijaya, who mistook them for ordinary boys. The Kumars became angry because they wanted to see Lord Narayan, and thus they cursed the doorkeepers. What is the possibility of an enemy arriving into the kingdom of Vishnu? Since you dare find duality in Vaikuta, I curse you. May you fall down, down, down into the material world and take birth as demons. When Varaha killed Varanyaksha and his brother, Varanyakashipu was furious and began to blaspheme Lord Vishnu. My dear brother, Danavas, Dajas, hear me with attention. Lord Vishnu is supposed to be impartial to all, but he has taken sides with the demigods and killed my dear brother here on the action. I shall cut off Vishnu's head with my trident and drink his blood and have my revenge. I must away at once to the Mandara Mountains to perform austerities and to win the favor of Lord Brahma. Kayapu, the wife of Murani Mishibu, was with child when her husband left, and lamented his departure, alone in the confines of her chambers. Hairam, oh, when will he return? Ha <laughs> ha It is I, King Indra, the king of the demigods. My hands are blackened like charcoal from hurling thunderbolts at the wicked. Ha 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 ha! I am so powerful, I am so handsome. Enough! Be gone from my chamber, O coach of Dagonath. You wife of a demon! I have heard that that husband of yours is a way of practicing great austerities. But you know, he will not return. That is not true. Yes, it is. And today, I will make sure that he will not have an heir to his throne. No! Yes! I will kill the child of Hiranyakashipu! No! <laughs> what are you doing here, Narada Muni? This woman is innocent. Innocent? Yes, and she's the wife of another. The wife of a demon! You should let her go. No! I should kill her child. Look. The child in this woman's womb is a pure devotee of the Supreme Mary, an exalted soul. Narada Muni, she's the wife of Hiranyakashipu, the greatest demon in the universe. How could a devotee be in her womb? Look, I know it's hard for you to understand. You're very covered by the motor passion. <laughs> <laughs> covered like that, it's hard to see the bigger picture. Okay? What? This child is destined to release numerous generations of his family, to liberate them from the supreme. Yeah. Listen, is it possible? Perhaps a devotee is in her womb? Oh, Narada Muni, you have saved me from committing a great offense. My life is in your hands, and I entrust this woman to your care. <laughs> 
My dear child, come with me. You can stay until your father, your, your husband, is You see, Atma refers to the individual soul and the supreme soul. Both of them are eternal, full of knowledge and grace. They're beyond all the temporary aspects of this world. And they're the basis of all that exists. Although still within the womb, the child remembering every syllable. In the valley of the Mandara Hill, Harani Kashiku began performing his austerities. He began performing his austerities by standing with his toes on the ground, keeping his arms upward and looking towards the sky. Because of Harani Kashiku's severe austerity, fire came from his head. Because of the power of severe austerity, all rivers and oceans were agitated, and the stars and the planets fell. All directions were ablaze. This attracted the attention of the universal creator, Lord Brahma. Arise, O son of Kashapa. You have performed many austerities. You must be seeking some boon. Please tell from me what is it you want. O Lord Brahma, you be done. My mind and wishes bend towards the fulfillment of the benedictions. Grant me that I shall never meet death by any creature created by you. Granted. Grant me that I will never be killed inside or outside any residence. Granted. Grant me that I do not find death Betwixt the grace of day or the slumber of night. Granted! Grant me that I will not be killed on the ground or in the sky. Granted! Grant me immortality. Immortality? How can I grant you immortality if I do not myself possess it? This I cannot give you. Well then, grant me optimum magnitude. Grant me that I have elite rule. Over all the demigods, over the thirteen planetary systems, grant me the eightfold mystic seas. Grant me to be nigh immortal. Granted. Now, everyone should worship me. Brother, I have no further need of you. I bid thee good day. But there is one thing I must say. These boons are very difficult to obtain, but I will grant them. Ram, I said good day. <laughs> With his newfound power, Durani Kashibu declared war on Indra. <laughs> <laughs> In 
I have come to take your throne. You should know that a mere movement of my eyebrows and the 30 planetary systems tremble. Now surrender! Your words are like a pile of hay. No, a burning pile of hay. A burning pile of hay. A smoldering pile of hay. A lot of heat. A lot of light. But gone. Nothing left. Ashes. I see you have a big mouth. And a strange cape. Now let us see. How well you fight! Indra's sword is in my hand. These three worlds are under my command. I shall sit upon your ivory throne and you shall worship me and me alone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In time, Hayabu had a son, Alon. The child was the reservoir of all transcendental qualities because he was an unavoidable devotee of the personality of Godhead. Because of advancement in Krishna consciousness, he sometimes cried, sometimes laughed, sometimes expressed jubilation. <laughs> and sometimes sang loudly, sometimes feeling the touch of the Lord's lotus hands, he became spiritually jubilant and remained silent, his hair standing on end and tears gliding down his half-closed eyes because of his love for the Lord. Prahlad was taught in Gurukul by two Brahmin Sanda, Shanda, and Amarka. Oh, my dear Pilar, please tell me what is the best out of all your subjects that you have learned in the Guru Corps. Yeah, I mean, oh Father, what I have learned from my spiritual masters is that anyone who has taken birth in this material world has fallen into a dark well where there is no water but only suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, the intelligence of children is spoiled by the uh, words of the enemy. Chanda, the marker. I want you to give all good counsel to the boy of the Guru Paul. Uh, teach him in warcraft and politics to make sure his intelligence is not further poisoned by any Vaishnavas who go there in disguise. Yes, my lord. We shall instruct this boy completely <laughs> with forbearance and respect. Wisdom will be can't part with my lord, we shall show the utmost vigilance, rooting out any devotional pests. <laughs> <laughs> now come along, Vlad, at once. 
the teachers, Shanda and Amarka, thought that Pallad Maharaj was sufficiently educated, and so they presented him before his father. Ah. Sandra, Amarka, you appear like the, the twin jewels in the crown of fortune. Alas, we are but shards of broken glass. <laughs> <laughs> now, Flav, what's have you been learning at the Guru Kaur? Shabanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padat Sevanam Archanam Pandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmani Vedanam Hearing, chanting, and remembering the Lord, serving the lotus feet of the Lord, offering him worship, offering his prayers, becoming friends with the Lord, becoming the servant of the Lord, and surrendering everything unto him. These are the nine processes of devotion. <laughs> oh, most unworthy prominence, you've taught this poor boy in the ways of devotion. What kind of nonsense is O oh, enemy of King Indra, this devotion has arisen naturally in the boy, as the sun breeds maggots in a dead dog. Why should Kajai have been? By our directions, he finally directions out, kept his head in the clouds, taught us nothing but ruin! My lord, your anger is unfounded. It's like, it's like oil being poured on the, the fire of our shame. There is only one option left, and it is as blatant as snow on a raven's back. Listen to reason, my lord. This boy... I bid you good day, Rams. Come. My lord, please, this I boy... I bid you good day. Ooh. Why this devotion to Vishnu? Where did I go wrong? Well, I say, let Kali wear black. Rakshasas, demons, I call upon thee.
<laughs> really? It's that simple. Can yeah. I try it? Yeah, ever. Dream. Inspire. Believe. Dream. Inspire. Believe. Okay, I, I feel a bit better now. <laughs> but yeah, I still, I still want him dead though. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, didn't really work. Anyway, tell me something about Nasty Nick. My lord, there are two things you should know about Nasty Nick. Before I find something amusing to do with you, my kind master, have you turned inside out? Her running Kushi Poo could not kill his son by throwing him beneath the feet of big elephants. Not by dropping him in a snake pit. Employing destructive spells. Hurling him from the top of a hill. Administering poison. Starving him. Exposing him to severe cold. Wind. <laughs> Fire and water were throwing heavy stones to crush him. When Lorne Kashipu found that he could not in any way harm Prahlad, who was completely sinless, he was in great anxiety about what to do next. Oh, Prahlad. 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 Today I shall send a to the place of Yamara. By whose strength are you so impudent that you dare overstep my power to rule you? My dear kid, the source of my strength is just as much the source of yours. Oh, most unfortunate for love. You've always described the supreme being unto me, who is the controller of everyone. Who is all pervasive? But where is he? If he is everywhere, then why isn't he present within this pillar? I see him there, Father. You indulge and talk of those who are about to die. As thou hast left my heart, I shall leave thee in twain and in twain again. Let us see your God come and protect you now. No! You! Tell her my brother! Oh, 
upon a boy's head, because his hand is always ready to create fearlessness in all of his devotees. Oh, my dear Prahlad, most gentle one, all good things to you. No one can understand me unless they please me. But for one who has pleased me, they will attain pure devotion. It is my pastime to give benedictions to my devotees. And therefore, you may ask of me anything that you desire. My dear Lord, I will only ask for one benediction. I ask that my father be excused from all his sinful activities. Oh, dear Prabhupada, your father has already been delivered, along with 21 forefathers in your family. Just because you were born into this dynasty, and because you are my pure devotee, your entire dynasty has been purified. You are the perfect example. Anyone who follows your example will become my pure devotee. Thus the Lord protected Prahlad and gave pleasure to all of his devotees as the Nishrina avatar. Nishrina Bhagavan Ki Thank you, Mom. Um, this is where the money is. 